So now we're going to talk about um, lazy object. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to create a custom object that um, we're going to download some images. So um, what I've done is instead of making an API call for to an API that returns a bunch of URLs, um, I kind of created hard coding, right? So um, let's go helper constants. Yes, here we go. And basically what this returns is data that will be parsed. This is dummy data that will be parsed into custom objects, okay? So this is the dummy data right here. Of course, all of the, the URLs, right? And basically what's gonna return what's gonna return is um chicken, fried chicken from different restaurants. <laughs> no boxers, just yeah, just restaurants for fried chicken. Um yeah, so and I guess many much of it is here in the Bay Area, right? Uh Bonchan, San Leandro, Hot Bird. San Francisco, I think I'm gonna go try some of these. The Bird, San Francisco, uh, Abu Raya, Japanese fried chicken, and so on and so on. Chicken on Fire, Castro Valley, Smack Chicken, and Gus's famous fried chicken where I go to um, occasionally. Um. I haven't had any fried chicken in about a couple months. Of course, this right here is the functionality. This is the parser. You know, again, um, we take our data, um, generic. So we're going to pass a generic value in here. Um, and then uh, according to this model, this is how we're going to decode and return our um return our um custom objects okay um here is the model it's called restaurant list and basically it is an array of restaurants and our restaurant has what a uh, name address price and they're all string your uh image string url right and of course we have coding keys because, um, uh, yeah, um, because some of of the um, some of the properties we um are they have what? Let me see what they have. I don't know why we have why why I use coding key, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. Um, uh, of course, I have um um I have a course that talks about complete about API calls and takes you step by step through understanding parsing and decoding and creating custom objects. You know, and I go in depth with codable, decodable. So, but um, that's not what this is completely about. Um, and of course I have a type alias and we use the type alias restaurant list instead of showing an array of restaurant. And I'm going to get into that later. Um, let's see. So this is our parser. This is our constants. This is what we use to turn this into custom objects. Here's our view controller right here in here is the main. So now let's go ahead and get the ball rolling with this. This is what everything looks like. Um, this is what everything looks like compiled. So, uh, okay, so again, this is to show you how to download lots of objects, right? Without one, without using too much resources, we're gonna do it lazily. And I'm, I'm gonna demonstrate with that exactly what that means and what that looks like. Furthermore, we want to do this in a way where we aren't blocking the main queue. And so blocking the main queue means that 
And I, uh, in, in my previous uh, courses, I talked about the main cue, but I'm going to reiterate. Uh, the main cue, so you have different priorities of cues. You know, um, you have your main cue. And um, the main cue is the main one. It's always serial, which means one process at a time in the order that they came in, you know. Um, whereas um, other lower priority cues can have things running concurrently means multiple processes at the same time. It means you can have a process that starts last or that starts last, but still finishes first and vice versa. Starts first, but finishes last, right? Depending on how long it takes. Blocking the queue means that if, it's, if it takes longer than everything, then all the other tasks in that queue, this is too bad. The other processes have to wait until it is done, right? Now, the main queue is the most important so um, because that's how you update your UI, right? So if everything stops on the main queue to wait for some other task, then your app freezes, right? If it gets too backed up, it might crash. Okay, so, and that's what happens a lot of times when people load images into their table view. Sometimes the images are too big and they take for a while to download. And in the meantime, the table view has is stuck, right? Okay. And another thing too is you also don't want um you also don't want um images repeating. You know anyway, we'll let's, let's, we'll get into that. All right. So, um, yeah. So here we go. First thing we're going to do is make sure that we, our table view is working, right? So we have a table view in here, but it, is it connected? Let's go to the view controller. No, no table view is connected. So let's connect connect this this table view, right? So we go here. We check to make sure that this is what what the heck is going on with this. View outlets. Okay, I didn't do that. Whatever. Um, bah, 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 bah. let's see. View controller, um, table view. So I'm gonna go here, editor, assistant. We have our view controller, get my table view, and now I'm gonna create an outlet for this table view, right? Then we connect. So now we have the table view connecting, right? So now let's go back here, okay? We have our table view connected. And now what we want to do is go ahead and we are going to implement the, the, the delegate methods that make our table view work. But first of all, let me do this. I'm gonna bar uh, temp array equals um we're going to say uh, array of restaurant make down rolls um, in in out water burger Water burger. So we have that. And this is just just to make sure that our thing is actually um actually working, right? Extension. Let's go ahead and let's do this. And I'm sure you sh guys should be um familiar with this. UI table view delegate, table view delegate, UI table. Oh crap, why is this messing with me? Table view data source. Okay. And of course, um this you will say cell for row at index path, right? And number of rows in section in number 
number of rows in section. Okay, so now, um, and we're just gonna do it like this, right? So um, we're going to say let cell equal table table view dot d q reusable cell with identifier cell should be my identifier. Let me just make sure. How do I know that? Go to my. I go to here. Here, custom cell. I don't um right custom cell. Right, so restoration ID is not it. Identifier right there. So that's it right here. And um right, so let's go back here. Cell, okay. Um, return cell, right? But we want to get here and we'll say, um, let's item equal what item is temporary, right? T E M array, and we want to get our index path, right? And again, I've explained this in prior in prior uh lessons so um yeah so dot text label we want the text label dot text attribute equals item and that's it right there um what is this going on with that and then return we need to return temp array dot count and that's how we have that so um uh of course and we need to set up our table view the delegate and and the data source right we have to set its delegate to this class okay and we have to set its data source to this class because its data source comes from what view controller it is a property of view controller temporary is delegate, this class is the delegate. That means it is the class that uses the delegate, the delegate methods in UI table view delegate and UI table view data source. So we have to say that yes, this is the data source and this is the delegate. Okay. Um so we we'll say table view dot data source equals self. Table view dot delegate equals self, right? And so now when we run this, oh yeah, let's go. Come on, we got time. So right here we have it. Okay, good. So now let's um let's go ahead and keep moving. So now that this works, what we also need to do is we need to go ahead and start um. Um, we need to actually um, try to figure out how to um, let me see what we're going to do. Give me a second just so I can think about the order. Okay, so we got that working. Um, what I need to do is download SF symbols and we'll go ahead and continue and uh, build on top of this uh in the next um tutorial so um come to the next one on to the next